Hey, Dental Nachos crew, it's Paul, Dr. Nacho, and I have a question for you. How are your new team members in this Nacho Nuts COVID-19 world getting along with your existing team members? Over this time, so many challenging things have happened with our team, the people that we rely on that make us look, through, look good, get through our day, and we're going to talk with our key resources and sponsors, Victoria Peterson and Dr. Bruce Baird of the Productive Dentist Academy. They have an awesome training program coming up and a nacho discount for us. Welcome, Bruce and Victoria. Thanks for being on with us. Thanks for having us, Paul. Great to be here. Awesome. Now, team is a big part of what we do. Dentistry is a challenging business model because we need like a football team to make our day go. <laughs> you guys help with team alignment. Tell me a little bit more about that. Well, I'll, I'll share with you uh, my experience with teams. Um, I used to come into the office in the mornings and for about three years, they, they had a smiley face and a frowny face in the break room. And I didn't know what it was. And then I asked the team one day, I said, what is this smiley face, frowny face? And they said, uh, you need to go talk to Gay. And I went and talked to Gay. She says, you need to go talk to Emily. And I finally went to my office manager, Emily, and she goes, that's you. Every day you walk in, every day you walk in, we either put up a smiley face or a frowny face. And what we know is that productivity goes down when it's a frowny face day. And so team alignment really starts with how we, how we end up showing up. You know, we, we show up ready to go and we're, we're excited for the day. And I, and that doesn't happen. A lot. <laughs> that wasn't happening a lot until. I love that, Bruce. I think you're giving my team in both the dental office and dental nachos world an idea because they, I, refer to myself as a friendly nacho tornado, but sometimes I'm overly enthusiastic, which other people call it intense. I think they'll have like, num they'll have like numbers or tornadoes, like bells at a restaurant to rate my mood today. So I love that. And I think that's so important because these are the things that are not talked about enough in dental school and are so critical to our success as dental practice owners, how our patients feel. Victoria, this program, which I've heard so much, so many good things about, we have a dental nacho with taking it perfect time to focus on this. What are the, what is someone going to learn in this program that you guys have on team alignment? Absolutely. Well, this is an eight week program and everything builds upon itself. Uh, week seven is actually an entire module on team alignment. I think that onboarding new staff members and integrating them with your current culture has to be the number one challenge right now. And here's why. It, we start with your philosophy of care, which we talked about on a previous webinar. We go through the patient journey map, what is happening. We then get into business planning. And once you know where you're going to go, then you do have to communicate it with the team. What's happening right now with COVID is the system has gotten short-circuited and they say that stress decreases the space between your brain and your mouth. And so <laughs> doctors oftentimes forget that they have an exciting, inspiring, compelling vision when the bills are stacking up and when new team members are coming on board and you miss that critical step of, who are we and why are we here? And, and so we help doctors get really clear on who am I, why am I here, what are my expectations of the team? And that critical step is you can't align unless you have that. And so team are out there doing the best they can on their, on their previous experience, which is not always aligned with what your practice needs. I think you're right on. One thing, there was a great commercial, it's still around, and I love interesting commercial where I said, you know, Baseball tickets, 100 bucks, you know, food, 25 bucks, parking, right? time with your son, price, right? Great. So I say this portion of you, make this about you and your team and investing in you because this is what I share. And Bruce, you can relate as a, as a dental student, anyone can relate. How much would you pay not to have the feeling that you got a bad grade on the test? Like when you have that feeling and you were going to get a bad grade, how much would you pay to remove that? This is the grown-up version of that. Walking into your office under the best circumstances right now is totally crazy. So anything you can do to remove that feeling inside of you, just to share a quick story. Yesterday, I inserted an implant crown on my uncle, the seventh one. He's making a collection. And I my aunt that. couldn't come in. I, my aunt and I are so close. We had to go talk outside the office, across the street, next to her car, which is just crazy, right? I mean, normally she'd come into the office, see the team. She usually brings them food. So it just we just need to embrace that right now is this very weird time. And it's for the team, it's for the dentist and the patient experience. And when you can invest in this, you'll never regret it. It's something that your team will be glad to do. Bruce, how can people walk us through a little bit? I'm a dentist, I'm gonna be part of this program, it's eight weeks. What's my type in time investing in eight weeks? 
you know, the, the good thing and, and what I what I like is we we break it up into these sessions and, uh, you know, it, it's about an hour of your time each week. And, and then we have kind of a peer to peer uh, learning on Friday mornings, which uh, everybody gets to share their stories. We break out into groups, everybody, we limit the course to 30 uh, attendees so that we can, so, you know, so that we can kind of pay attention to what's going on. And, and, it, and it also, we found that that's the, that's kind of the ideal group size and right. people are sharing their own stories, their own difficulties, and people are getting suggestions, not just from us and our team, but also from peer to peer learning, which I always love sitting at the cocktail reception with buddies listening to stories about oh, their yeah. office. And so this does that in a COVID time where we can't be sitting at the, uh, at the bar and, and enjoying each other's company, but uh, it, it's working amazingly well. It, it, you know, we never, I never really thought about doing this kind of stuff as being education. Now it is our education. So, uh, and I'm, I, I did 58 webinars during during COVID when you know yeah. for that two month period, and I know you probably did double that. Uh, but people are much more responsive now, and I, uh, I fully agree. You should just have everyone should bond together. You know, it's early, so I just have this warm. You say everyone get their own glass of wine or drink of choice, and, and drink it together. You know, Mark Costas, who I know we all know. I think he sleeps like one hour at night, hanging upside down. But he always talks about how the real stuff comes out when you talk to people at the coffee breaks, the bars after, because people, you know, you break down that wall. Dentists, dentists are very weird. I always say this, dentists are great with patients, not so great with people. Great with patients, not so great, including each other. You know, it's like, even, you know, it's like weird high school dance. We, in our course, like, can you go talk to another dentist over there? They're not gonna bite. And I, I think you need to create, I think it's awesome you're creating this in a small group setting like that. Now, Victoria, if somebody's watching and wants to sign up for this now, find out more about it. Tell us about your special nacho deal and how they can do that. Oh, absolutely. You can reach out to Stacy at ProductiveDentist.com. She'll get you all registered. Uh, and we've got landing pages here. But uh, we are offering a $500 tuition scholarship for all Nacho members. And we want to get this out to as many people as possible. Once we hit the 30, then we'll go on a waiting list. That's how this class actually got created. The first class, we didn't have a limiter on it. So we had 58 people. And uh, we broke up into five different groups and you know we really do want small group experience because here's the thing uh, many doctors are either an introvert or an extrovert right and so an extrovert doesn't know what they know until they say it out loud yeah and an introvert uh, needs a really safe space in order to share and I've been doing business planning for a long time I cannot I cannot business plan or get myself out of my own way with my own team. It, it really does help to have a facilitator from the outside help ask you the compelling questions in a really safe place. So that's what we work towards is making the peer learning uh, as safe. There's no arguments at all. In fact, uh, Dr. McMillan, this, just this last week, she emailed us and she said, wow, I loved what you said earlier. She goes, wow, this helped me grow up and show up as a leader I need to be for my team. I now own it. And she's 22 year veteran, you know? Yeah. So it's, a, it's an a age or stage. I love you. you can reach out to us at saltsidentalnachos.com. My share with the audience here, you're watching this is the JFO just find out. This is the stuff that you use every day of your practice. I've taken implant courses. I've taken occlusion courses. These are all things that are great for clinical skills, but how you interact with your team is the true magic and everybody can do it better and get this resource. So reach out uh, to our nacho team at saltsadentalnachos.com. Stacy, is that S-T-A-S-T-A-S-C-Y? -S I'm sorry. S-T-A-C-Y. Awesome, at, at, the, at productivedentist.com. There you go. Awesome, yeah. thank you, Dan, is what you guys all love, Dennis. A discount, literally your favorite thing, save 500 bucks. Thanks so much, Bruce and Victoria. <laughs>